morning, CB. How you, how, you, how you doing, WG? I'm all right. I'm all, all right. right. So yesterday you uh, you were one of the folks who had run against Joe Biden, and yes. you know now you're endorsing him. Uh, I think I know why, but is it a is it what you would do normally for the person you think might be the? If you're not going to be it, do you think that's the right person to to go for? Yeah, I started this journey not just because of the policy ideas, but because I really felt like our country needed unity again. We needed to stop hating each other, this sense of severed belonging that we have. We are a nation that is so much stronger when we find common ground and common purpose. And so as I look at the future, uh, I know that Joe Biden is the best position of the people in that race. He is the leader that talks about these things on uh, the stump all the time, who, who embodies them in many of the points of his career. And uh, I'm excited about the prospect that he can help unify the Democrats, number one, and actually be the leader that can reach out to independents, to moderate Republicans. I think he has the best chance of not only beating Donald Trump, but beginning to heal the country. And when it comes to those Senate races out there, I want to send Mitch McConnell back into the minority. And I think that him at the top of the ticket is going to help our Senate candidates as well. Mm. Okay. S Senator, this is Sonny. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. Thank you. I have a... Um... You know, some people see this as quite the about face, considering how much you clashed uh, with him over criminal justice reform, racial issues when you were on the debate stage. You've also famously shared your concerns about his ability to carry the ball all the way across the end line without fumbling. Um, I, I think you said once, there's a saying in my community, you're dipping into the Kool-Aid and you don't even know the flavor. <laughs> so what, what changed for you? No, nothing changed. Look, I said at the very <laughs> beginning of this, uh, that I, I'm going to support, the, if I don't win, I'm going to support the candidate that can best beat Donald Trump, and I'm doing exactly that. Uh, when you're in a primary, you're running because you think you're the best person, so of course you're going to have uh, critiques. But the reality is, and, and Joe and I actually bonded during the primaries. We, we had, uh, you know, some exchanges, but they were always done uh, with a, a sense of dignity, with uh, not trying to tear down the character of the other person. And we both said, that's the way our politics should be. You're, you're, you're quoting a joke when I talked about being all up in the Kool-Aid. Uh, I, I, that was a criticism, but it was done with humor and with, uh, with, with uh, grace. Yeah. And so this is something we need right now. We have this cancel culture that's going on where we tear each other down, where we judge each other by our lowest points in our histories as opposed to trying to elevate everybody uh, to a higher point in history for us all collectively. And so I, I just, you know, I said on the stump yesterday that I believe patriotism is love of country. But you can't love your country unless you love your fellow countrymen and women. That doesn't mean we always have to agree or like each other. But we have to understand that we need each other, that we are each other's best hope for a brighter future. And Joe embodies those ideals the best in this race right now. Uh, he ain't perfect, but I think he's the guy that's going to help us to create a more perfect union. Okay. This is uh, Joy Behar. Hi, Corey. How are you? Hey, Joy. Okay. So first of all, I think you should use that Kool-Aid joke against Trump now. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> um, and uh, despite this, what they call the Joe-mentum uh, for Joe Biden, there's still a lot of fervor for Bernie, especially yeah, among young people and Latinos. So uh, may I ask you what your problem with Bernie is? Uh, first of all, I, I don't have a problem with Bernie. Bernie's my friend, my colleague. We've partnered As on... As president. Some... Well, again, it, this is not about... It's, uh, affection, which I have deeply for yeah. him. Uh, it's not about knocking him down. It's about me looking at the field and picking the absolute best person that can unify Democrats, that can reach out to the most Americans. We, we've got one shot to make Donald Trump a one-term president. One shot. And these are going to be narrow margins. People who think this is going to be some kind of layup, they're wrong. This no, is going to be a hard-fought election. And the best person to call us together to do that is, to me, clearly Joe Biden. It's obvious him. And I respect Bernie, love Bernie, uh, and will continue to work with him. I love his supporters. Heck, people close to me are supporting uh, Bernie Sanders. Uh, but the reality is, is I feel like a lot of put people put their trust and faith in me. I garnered a lot of support nationally. I've been being asked since the day I dropped out of the race, uh, who are you supporting? Who are you supporting? So to, yesterday I made it clear. Uh, I feel a sense of urgency about this election. I want everyone to know, make your own decision, follow your own heart. But as for me, if you want to know where I'm going, I'm on Team Joe. I'm riding with Biden.